Hi guys, I'm going to try to make this one quick, five minutes and under, okay? So we're going to talk about correlations. So correlations are when you're looking at two variables and they appear to be working together in some way. So we're going to look at um, correlations. So we've got a scatter plot here and we can see that there's a trend. So we've got a variable that we're measuring over here and we've got one that we're measuring over here and it appears to be a trend because they're working in the same direction. Um, when you have a bunch of dot points like this and we're trying to um, uh, figure out what they uh, have in relation to each other, we're looking at what's called a scatter plot. So um, right here we see you could draw like a line of best fit, you could call it, or the trend line. And it appears to be going up like this as it's going up on our y-axis. It's also going up on our x-axis. And so we call that a positive correlation when both variables are rising together. So an example of that would be the more miles you run, the more calories you burn. And so it appears to be working together. Okay, our next one here, we've got things that there appears to be a relationship because there appears to be a pattern. The pattern's falling though. So um, this is called a negative correlation and this one's just really confusing because um, as you can see, um, let's see, like this data point right here, this data point is, um, we've got one, um, on our x-axis and we've got a 5 on our y-axis then as we move over we've got a 2 but now you can see it's falling and now we've got a 3 so it's rising but it's falling here so one side is rising but the other side is falling I know that that you, it appears the line is going down but they're not both going down so a negative correlation is one variable is rising and the other is falling. They're still related to each other because they're working in that same pattern. As one goes up, the other goes down. As one goes up, the other goes down. So it's still a pattern, but this is called a negative correlation. Oh, sorry. An example of this would be, let's just use the running one. The more miles you run, the less pounds you weigh. So it's, it's, they're working together, but they're the variables. One is going up while the other is going down. Okay. So what's really important to know about correlations are when you see a scatter plot and you see that they're working together, that means that you can predict that when this one goes up, the other one's probably going to go up too. Or when this one goes up, this one's going to go down and it's probably going to keep going that way. But it doesn't mean that this one is causing the other one to happen. With correlations, we just don't know that. Um, it Maybe it could be, but we, we can't predict that by looking at it. Or we, we can't know that by looking at a scatter plot. We don't know what's causing it. We just know that they're working together. So they help us make predictions. Um, it doesn't tell us what's causing them to go up or down. We just know that they work together and they go up together or they go down together or one goes up while the other goes down. Um, and this is a prime example. Ice cream sales increase while crime rates, while murder rates increase. And they're both appearing to be a positive correlation, but they don't cause each other. Okay, sorry for the interruption. So um, ice cream sales and crime rates or murder rates, they are both a positive, they're increasing together, so it's a positive correlation between the two, but people buying ice cream aren't, they're not, they're, they're not now going and, and murdering people because they've eaten the ice cream. They're not causing each other. There's a third variable, which is summertime, that happens to be what's causing them to happen, but, um, it, they're just correlated. They're happening at the same time. They're going up together, but they're not causing each other. Um, so you cannot prove anything from a correlation. You can predict that one will increase or one will decrease because you know there's a relationship, but you can't you can't tell why it's happening. So that's a really important factor. Um, the final thing is the correlational coefficients, which is the number that's produced. Um, a very strong positive correlation is a 1. A very strong negative correlation is a negative 1. So a positive 1 and a negative 1, both are strong correlations. If you end up with a 0, that means there is no correlation. So it, you're, if you get a number that's um, a positive um, 0.8, that's a pretty strong correlation, um, but the strongest is a positive one 
or a negative one. Both are strong correlations. One just means a negative correlation. One means a positive correlation. Zero is no correlation at all. Um, so I think that's all you need to know for correlations, and I made it just over five minutes. So um, great timing. If you have any questions, send me an email or talk to me in class. Thanks. Bye.